Hello and welcome, this lecture presentation is about the system of linear equations, which is very important topic of linear algebra, and, helps to characterize a system in terms of input, output and, the transformation that generates the output from the given input. In fact, for many mathematical procedures, such as the set of nonlinear equations, interpolation, integration, differential equations, and recursive equations, the result is a compact form and, the analysis becomes far more easier. Hopefully, after watching this presentation, you would be able to set up simultaneous linear equations in matrix form and vice versa to find a solution. The purpose of the channel is education for all, especially in this tough time of pandemic COVID-19. The course pathways include subjects of communication systems, signal processing, control systems, AI, and IT. If these courses are of interest to you, please subscribe and share with your colleagues, friends and class fellows. For two variables or two unknowns, the linear equations in XY coordinate system can be written as x plus by equals c or in dot product notation as, the multiplication can be written in terms of a row vector with entries a, and b and the column vector, x, y, which equals c. For a three variables case, the linear equations in x, y, z coordinate system can be written as, x, plus b, y, plus c, z, equals d or in dot product notation as the multiplication of the row vector a, b, c and the column vector x, y, z, which equals d. Generally, the linear equations in the n variables, x1, x2, x3, up to, xn, can be expressed in the sum of product form, a1, x1, plus a2, x2, plus a3, x3, up to a, n, xn, equal the scalar b which in dot product notation is the multiplication of the vectors as shown. As mentioned, a system of linear equations is a finite set of linear equations. The examples, a set of linear equations involving two variables or unknowns, and, three variables or three unknowns are as shown. Generally, a linear system with m, equations, and n, variables can be written as in the bottom left. An example of four equations with four unknowns is as shown on the right. For a 3x3 three three case, the system of linear equations in matrix notation is written in the form of A, X equals B, that is, the matrix multiplication of the 3x3 three three coefficients matrix A, and the column matrix X of three variables or the unknown entries X1, X2, and X3. The result is the constant column vector B. If the entries of the column vector B are zero, the system is homogeneous, otherwise non-homogeneous if at least one entry is non-zero. By finding the inverse of matrix A, and then multiplying with the column vector B, the solution is, to find the column vector X of unknowns. A system of equations can be consistent or inconsistent, which means a system of equations A, x equals b, is consistent if there is a unique solution, or infinite solutions, and it is inconsistent, if there is no solution. Many solutions can be obtained if one equation is a multiple of the other. The significance of such representation can be seen in examples from signal processing including, the Yule-Walker equations, paid approximations, Wiener-Hoff equations, and, from control engineering and estimation theory including the Markov chains, least squares, and the state space representations of dynamic systems. The solution, of the system represented by, a, x equals b, that is, to find the unknown variables, or the column vector x, is by taking the inverse of coefficient matrix a, and then multiplying with the output column vector b. The two steps involved are as shown. Remember that, the solution only exists, if the determinant of the coefficient matrix is non-zero, in such a case A is said to be non-singular, or otherwise singular. 
if the determinant is zero in which case the solution doesn't exist. However, if such a situation arises in practical problems, pseudo inverse can be used. Apart from the inverse method the second method is the Kramer's rule which will be shown shortly. An example of system of linear equations involving three variables or unknowns is given which can be written in terms of coefficient matrix A, the unknown variables column vector x, and the constant column vector B as, to solve for the unknown vector x, the adjoint method can be used to find the inverse of matrix A for which the steps are, 1, find determinant, 2, find the minor and cofactor matrices, 3, find the adjoint and, 4, find the inverse. After finding the inverse of matrix A, the second step involves the operation, according to which the column vector x, equal to inverse A multiplied with the constant column vector B. This simple multiplication ultimately, will give you the values of the unknown variables, or the column vector x as shown. The first entry of the column vector x will be equal to the first entry of the result, that is, x equals 3, similarly for the other entries corresponding values will be assigned. Other methods based on elementary row operations, or the Gauss-Jordan elimination will be discussed in the course Linear Algebra, and the computationally efficient Levinson-Durbin recursion method in Statistical Signal Processing course. Another method to find the solution of system of linear equations, with as many equations as unknowns is the Kramer's rule, and is valid whenever the system has a unique solution, and the coefficient matrix is non-singular. For a system written as, u into x equals b, it expresses the solution in terms of the determinants of the, square, coefficient matrix a and of matrices a k obtained from a, by replacing the kth column of a by the column vector b. This is a five steps method. In step 1, find the determinant of coefficient matrix A. In step 2, find A1 by replacing first column of A with constant matrix B. In step 3, find the determinant of A1. In step 4, find X by dividing the determinant A1 with determinant of A. The fifth and last step involves the repartition of steps 2, 3, and 4 for the other unknown, X. K. An example of a system of linear equations involving three variables or unknowns is given, these can be written in terms of coefficient matrix A, the unknown variables column vector X, and the constant column vector B as shown on the left. To find the solution, the step 1 is to find the determinant of coefficient matrix A which is 1 in this case, in step 2. Find A1 by replacing first column of A with constant matrix B. The A1 matrix is as shown. In step 3, the determinant of A1, is found to be 3. In step 4, X1, is obtained by dividing the determinant of A1 with determinant of A, that is, 3 by 1, which equal to 3. The fifth or the last step involves the repartition of steps, 2, 3 and 4 for the other unknown x, k. Firstly A2 is obtained by replacing the second column of matrix A with column vector B and its determinant can be found to be equal 1. To find x3, the process is repeated. It can be seen that the solution is the same as found in the adjoint method. Hopefully, you have enjoyed the presentation, and have contributed to or refreshed your knowledge, the objectives are to study less but smart, stay safe. Please like, subscribe and share.